Get up, get out of bed. It's summer again. I see you. Yeah, you. Get up. The whole idea of self-tanning makes me really nervous. I can barely put on a dress. How can I put on a tan? You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I can only afford one hot new accessory this season. What should it be? Oh, I know. A wealthy husband. Oh, go for the husband. He'll go with everything. Oh, I use neck creams, eye creams. My grandmother always said, a nice smile is the best makeup you can wear. Hand cream, feet cream, elbow cream. Yeah, Grandma, if you're under 30. I heard that real tall, spiky high heels are in again. What happened to clogs? I want clogs. Bring back the clogs. How can I make my lipstick last? I've had crumbs that stuck to my lips longer. You know, experts say you should spike up your workout. Hiking, rowing, skydiving, rollerblading. Will everybody please stop rollerblading? Kickboxing, windsurfing, jogging, swimming. Oh. Is there a doctor in the house? Oh, I'm really hurting. I don't think this is for me. No way. Go back to bed. Five or two eight, John. And a half. Oh, cool. I think I'll keep this one for myself. One of the big questions people always ask me is, oh, what are the trends? What's nice lately? It's all about confidence and uh, anything really goes today. So it's... Uh, much more open world than it was, let's say, when I began in the early 1970s. This variety in fashion keeps me, you know, on top of things and, and kind of excited about it all. Come here. That's great. That's perfect. I think that the difference is this year is, is that you are seeing a little more makeup and you're seeing a lot more of um, sheerness, I mean, in the eyes and the lips. It's a look that is transparent but yet beautiful. So which one would you wear? I'd wear this. You could do anything you want to it. It could go from day to night easily. It's a beautiful yeah. color. It could almost look good on anyone. I would wear this, too, in a second. Right. Mm -hmm. This definitely has all the new trends all in this small shift. It has the shine. It has the longer length. It has the bias cut that's really feminine when you move around. And um, versatility. And it versatility. Can be everything. You could do anything you with this. You can sleep in could, this. <laughs> you, oh, or you, you could, could go sleep to dinner. In this. You, or you, could... you could put a little sweater on it, go to work. You could take off the sweater, go out at night. The new, really, hemline is this longer length that's almost to the knee or just at the knee. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't think women should feel confined to just wear this new length. If it works for you, if it works for your body, it's beautiful and it's really definitely what's happening. But at the same time, there's all. There's a bit shorter length, so it's really just a whole multitude of styles, it's exactly. Either. This is another great little suit that's really very 40s looking, with yeah. a longer skirt, with a little slit for extra femininity. It's very curved back, and all the styles, I think, are really returning back to the form, to the female form.
big surprise this year on the runway was that the woman was back. I would definitely buy a fitted long jacket to wear with or without a belt. I would definitely buy a light, like a light fabric, maybe satin skirt to the knee, which is great to wear either with a fitted t-shirt or a light sweater or even with the same jacket we were talking about. You have a variety of, uh, of choices. We have great fabrics that shine, that have uh, this quality of being iridescent under the light and very sort of subtle shine. This season, we've seen everything from clutch bags to scarves with prints on them to barrettes, rhinestones, rings. I think designers took accessories a lot more seriously, especially shoes and hosiery. This year on the runways, we saw a lot of um, high heeled scrappy sandals. The new glamour translates to jewelry and accessories by sparkling up your outfit. It's making it a little bit more wow. This, for instance, is a perfect 95 shiny bias cut long dress and it has so many different looks that we could do just with adding a few accessories, putting a belt on, string of pearls, classic pumps. I think that women this season are all willing to look like movie stars a little bit and uh, you know it's a reaction to what it was before you know they don't want to be waifs anymore they want to be women. <laughs> Madison Avenue and hurry, hurry. Yeah, hurry. Everybody's in a hurry. Step on it. Step on it too. You want me to step yes. on it too, huh? Yeah. Hurry and step on it. Oh, oh what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? Hey, 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 with you. Get your eyes on the road. What? Whoa. What's the matter with you? You never saw anybody get ready for work before? No, not in the back of the cab. I never did. Well, that's the first time for everything, Buster. No kidding. Look at you. <sighs> Can you do me a favor? What is it? Can you move the mirror to the right? Yeah. Yeah. Move it to a little bit more. To the right. Huh? Yeah, to the right. A little bit more, sir. Hey, 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 lady, take it! Take it! Gosh, some people have no patience. Did you see a bottle of perfume? I bet you're sitting on it. You're sitting on it. No, no, no. Here, here, try an air freshener. I used it this morning. It's oh, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, they're good. A little under really the arms. A little under the arms. Oh, okay, it's good. Yeah. Keeps you nice and dry, doesn't Very it? Very fresh. Nice and cool like Very me. Very fresh, yes. What are you doing, lady? Uh, you have pretty feet. Thank you. Yeah, don't mention I'm a foot model. Oh, you are? Yes, I am. I thought I recognized them. Did you? Yes. You all set there? I forgot. I forgot, huh? Why am I in here? Uh, no idea why. You're going to 245 Madison. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Silly me. <sighs> all right, 245 Madison, we're here. Already? Mm -hmm. We're here so fast? See. Come on, lady, huh? Uh, excuse me. Lady, lady, come on, I gotta move! Can you circle the block again? I think I lost my other shoe.
When time is of the essence in the early morning and you're rushing around trying desperately to get out of the house, it is possible to look great. All you really need is five minutes to put on a fabulous face. The most important thing is to know what works for you, both in terms of your skin type and your skin tone. To get off on the right foot or face first thing in the morning, it's important to keep your tools organized. The basics are foundation, concealer, blush, powder, eyeshadow, mascara, lipstick. All of it should be right at your fingertips so there's no fumbling. Start by applying concealer underneath your eye or any other place that you need to cover some tiny imperfections. Now it's foundation time. Dot it on your face, on your forehead, your cheeks, your nose, your chin, then blend with a sponge so there are no lines anywhere. Mm. Then apply blusher along your cheekbone for a nice glow and blend. Next, apply an eye primer to your eyelids. It'll help your eyeshadow stay on much better throughout the day. Now, I suggest you use two eyeshadows. You really do have time for it. Use a highlighter from the lash line to the brow, and then blend, blend, blend a slightly darker shade into the crease. You want to bring your doll over, honey, so you can put it on for me? Yep, she'll be there. As soon as I can get her there. Thank you. Bye-bye. Finally, brush on mascara, apply lipstick, and you're ready to go. Okay. your look from day into night, you not only want to accessorize your clothes, you want to dramatize your makeup a bit as well. And it's easy to take even the most casual look and make it evening ready. Begin by adding a lighter shimmery shadow to your brow bone for emphasis. Then just simply add a touch of a deeper or vibrant shade at the outer corner of your crease and blend. Really soften and smudge those colors so they look natural. Then use a dark or a black eye pencil close to your upper lashes and your lower lashes. It'll give your eyes more impact. Then simply put some gloss in the center of your lips and make them look full and fabulous. You see, it really is that simple. It's that time of year again, and I need to buy a bathing suit. No! No, I won't go when I say! I won't! I can't! Stop it! <gasps> okay, now I haven't had a good look at my body since last summer, but I already decided however I look is okay with me. for me. I know it. Oh, here's one. Good. Okay. That'll do it. It must have been cheap fabric. Design this, Barbarella, medieval torture device, or a bathing suit? You decide. And here we have the. Ew. Oh, here's a nice one. The top looks good, and the bottom looks good. Oh no, it can't be. But it is. It's a thong. 
Oh, get this thing away from me. <laughs> this will knock him dead in Miami Beach. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. It's rest and relaxation all weekend. Oh. Bathing suits this year are directly influenced by what we saw on Runaway for spring summer 95. Just this whole intense femininity, I think, and return to the female form. Which of course, how far could you get from that in a bathing suit? Metallics are everywhere this summer, and the beach is no exception. Even a simple tank looks stylish when it shines. There are sexy suits with built-in push-up bras, an easy way for every woman to accentuate the positive. Strategically placed cutouts are feminine and flattering, a very pretty look that's sexy without being too revealing. Also new are 1940s inspired boy cut suits which hit lower on the leg. And finally, as we've seen in fashion, sheer is in, and right in line are swimsuits with flattering mesh panels. Look at all these bathing suits. Have you ever asked yourself what bathing suit will look good on you and what you should buy? We're going to help you, and we have found five of the most flattering suits for you to wear. This two-tone suit uses illusion to slim and flatter. The center panel creates a long vertical line, and a shoulder-bearing halter accents what just might be the most universally sexy body part. This suit is cut lower on the leg to cover the upper thigh. White trim creates a slimming line, and a high spandex content provides extra control. The diagonal shearing on this suit works wonders to accentuate curves. Plus, a built-in bra lifts and enhances the bust line. A fabulous way to draw attention upwards is with an empire-waisted suit. Even more flattering, the dark bottom helps to minimize the waist and hips. Here, a short swingy skirt shapes a straighter figure. This style is also great for camouflaging the stomach, hips and thighs. You know, as the summer months approach, we all have to change our 
kind of approach to makeup. We have to lighten it up. But yet we don't want to feel naked no matter where we're going. Even if we're going to the beach, some women really prefer to have something on. And I think there are great techniques that you can do to look great no matter where you are. This summer, sheer mouth, lip gloss, sheer and sexy and glossy. Use a sheer foundation to even out the skin tone. Don't be afraid of color on your cheeks this summer. They should be sunlit and luminescent. Eyes should be really very sheer, very clean, very translucent. Apply sunscreen 15 minutes before going outdoors. Reapply sunscreen regularly, at least every two hours if outside, more often if you are swimming or sweating. Apply enough. An adult needs approximately one ounce to adequately cover his or her body. Always choose a waterproof, sweat-resistant formula. Pay special attention to vulnerable areas, backs of your hands, bottom of the feet, ears, scalp, nose, neck and chest. Don't forget sunscreen on cloudy days. UV rays still penetrate the skin even if the sun isn't shining. All skin, no matter what color, needs a sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or higher on the beach. In fact, daily protection from UV radiation is always essential because of incidental sun exposure. Even the youngest children need protection as skin damage is cumulative. When I was five years old, I felt like Greta. And when I'm now 46 years old, I still feel like Greta. I never felt any different so that as I go through the ages, I still feel like the same person. It's just what you happen to be doing in that stage of your life. The other thing I think is really important for staying young is accepting change. I think as human beings, we kind of say, no, I don't want to change, but it's, it's the most refreshing. Uh, I think it keeps you young. If you're going to age, which we all do, it would be nice if the process was pleasant. And in order to make the process pleasant, I think you have to really maintain certain standards for yourself so that I don't want to be 50 and uncomfortable with my body. The important thing about exercise is it can't be a grueling chore. It has to be something that you really enjoy and some way or other without beating yourself saying I, I didn't make it five times this week or I didn't make it three times this week. You have to start finding time as you hit into your 40s. Otherwise we're not going to enjoy our children and so many of us in our 40s have started children so late we have to be in shape. There's no choice. One of the things that I have found is so important is the consistency of skin care. To set your own regime, to to experiment with different products and then when you found out what's right for you to use them every day the cleansing the toning a mask a moisturizer I think when you finally figure out uh, what you need and you find the right products for yourself um, then it's easy because you see what works the best on your skin and, and you use it. The alpha hydroxies are the perfect example of that. This is the greatest development for skin care in, in certainly my lifetime. You know, it's such a cliche to say that beauty comes from within and we all say, yeah, 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 but I want to look pretty on the outside. But as we leave our 20s and realize we're not going to be that perfect makeup face that's anyway retouched in the magazines, we start to have to discover that beauty and I think that that's a very important thing to talk about. I think that most people need to spend less time worrying about aging and just enjoy their life.
Today at Contessa de Sadista Cosmetics, we are offering a personalized beauty overhaul. Would you like one? No, thank you. I have a consultant I'm very happy with. Thank you very much. Too bad. Sit, Shotzi. I will design right now a makeup especially for your face. And all of its flaws. Flaws? Flaws! What do you mean? <laughs> oh, your paws are very large. Your lips are way too thin. Your cheekbones are unlocatable. And your eyes, they are hazel. Oh! Would you like to see the new and unique you? Ah. Oh no! I have oh. to see my beauty consultant! Brows are a really important part of the face. They frame the eyes. Use the top of the brow as a guide when shaping. Take the pencil from the center of the eyebrow using short strokes outward. Then you take the brush and you use it to blend and soften the brow. For 95, we're seeing a lot of shears. Um, shears in many different colors and I'd like to show you just how to apply that shear. I'm going to use it right on the center of the eye. I'm taking the color on the center of the eye and I'm working up to the brow bone. Gives a little highlight and a really great trick is to take your loose powder, tap off the loose powder and apply all over the eye, blending, 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 blending. Very key. To add depth and definition to the eye, I'm going to use a darker shadow in the crease of the eye, extending in an upward motion. Use a slightly dampened brush to apply your eye shadow for a more intense color. Make sure that you blend. Blend well. Here's a great way to make your eye pencil last longer. Use a little bit of shadow about the same color and place it over the eyeliner blending really well. And this will last you all day long and into the night. It's a great little tip. For a full lash look, you begin with curling the lash before applying your mascara. When applying your mascara, try moving in a zigzag motion to coat, lift, and separate the lashes. When applying more than one coat of mascara, allow the first coat to dry. Brush downward on the lash to give more definition and color. Afterwards, take an eyelash brush and brush through the eyelashes. Apply a lip balm before applying your lipstick. This allows for easier application. After lining your lips, you take the lip pencil to fill in the entire lip area. This will give a longer lasting lip color. Then we apply a complementary lip color. Preferably a cream as opposed to a heavy frost. The heavy frosts have a tendency to accentuate the wrinkles in the lips, and we don't want that. One really good idea to expand your lip colors is to mix two of them together. You do this by mixing them on the top of your hand, applying one, then applying the other. Mix it in really good, boom, onto the lips. This is a really fun product. This is called Intensity Controller. And I love this stuff. What I like to do with it is place it in the center of the lip to create a highlight there. It gives a full effect to the lip. You can also use it over the entire lip just for a lighter shade. To give any cream lipstick a shine, apply lip gloss over it. This is a really good look for the summer. What do I think about makeup? The, the unsure woman is the one that's always overly made up. 
I think it's best just to sort of maximize a natural beauty. Something that like accentuates the way that the woman looks naturally, um, but that doesn't cover up her natural features. A little makeup's better than uh, no makeup at all. And the woman that is confident is the woman who uses just the right amount. Do you like makeup on girls? No. You don't like? He doesn't like makeup on girls. He likes it au natural. Makeup shouldn't be used to hide anything. It should be used to enhance. Women should wear makeup. I think it makes them beautiful. Makeup, I think it's whatever pleases the woman. Well, I think makeup is cool as long as it looks natural. You know, as long as it doesn't look like they're going to like a Halloween party or something like that, then, you know, mm -hmm. then there's a problem. Don't overdo it. So one thing I got, don't overdo it. You know, some lipstick, maybe a little bit of eyeshadow, that type of thing. I like a woman who knows how to contour her cheekbones. Hi, Carl. You got anything to me? Oh, hi, Miss Madison. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here you go. Oh, thanks. And I like a woman who applies her lipstick with a lip brush. People underestimate the value of a lip brush in lip color oh, application. I use a lip brush and a lip liner. Yeah, and it shows. But the most important thing is good, clean skin. And on this point, I am adamant. Sometimes my wife is tired and she goes to bed without washing her makeup off. That's terrible. No, oh, it makes me crazy. I want to shout, don't you realize your pores are choking? You know what, Carl? My skin is going through some weird changes. Can you see the lines on my face? Yeah, but I think yours is just a simple matter of exfoliation. Won't that dry my skin? No, just use a toner and a moisturizer. Hydration is very important. Oh, I know. Tell me about well, why it. Why don't you come back to the office, I'll tell you. Now, you're not going to charge me anything. No, this, no, not. Now, that lady over there in 3C, she is very well hydrated. The one with the schnauzer? That's her. Right. You know, yeah. I'll bet my pension that she's a regular user of alpha hydroxy. Oh, you're talking about that miracle stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. And let me tell you something. These are not laugh lines because nothing is that funny. Nothing. Well, you ought to stay out of the sun. You don't want to end up like 5G across the street. I've seen smoother skin on a horn tongue. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. I always use like an SPF 15 sunscreen and a handsome in my face. Well, a nice wide brim would look good with your features. Thank you. Wouldn't it, darling? Yeah, you know, maybe a lime yellow. Lime my uh, collar. Uh, yellow. Pastel green. Pastel orange, orange, maybe. Orange. Terrific. I'll okay, tell you. Enough of the flattery. No, <laughs> it's not flattery. It's true. How do you you know those fashion magazines? Well, what, sometimes when I'm at lunch, I peek through them, you know, while the guys are looking at